Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church, and it's November. And that means we're all thinking about Thanksgiving. You know, I remember as a kid coming home from school wearing a Native American vest I had made from a paper bag, and I had a turkey that I made from a paper plate. And for the most part, I think most of what I ever learned about the pilgrims or Thanksgiving came from public school. And if I asked you, why did the pilgrims come to America? You would probably say what most people say, freedom. And you'd be right. But what kind of freedom? Freedom from whom? You see, for the past two years, we've all been living in a fog. Up is down, right is left, and we don't know who to trust anymore. Everyone says, we're the only ones telling you the truth. But they can't both be right. Someone's lying. I'm tired of internet rumors. I'm tired of forwarded emails. I'm tired of conspiracy theories. Tired of people complaining. I'm tired of finding fault. So at Walden Community Church, from now until New Year's, we're talking about only what's true. Not rumor, not conjecture. In fact, it's the only truth that matters, the God's honest truth. So what's the truth behind the pilgrims? Why did they come to America? Well, in 1611, the king printed his own copy of the Bible, and he wanted it to be the only version that was ever read. So he made all other copies of the Bible illegal. He basically forced a nation to only accept one narrative. The people were not free to decide for themselves. So nine years later, the pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock because they wanted religious freedom. They wanted to be able to worship God how they wanted and to read the Bible that they wanted. You know, the first Bible printed in America was actually for the Native Americans. And the first college built in America was a seminary to train priests. And that's the truth. The truth behind the pilgrims and Thanksgiving and the truth behind America. This week at Walden Church, we're gonna talk about the Bible. We're gonna talk about how it came to be and why there's so many translations and the truth behind God's word. And like I said, from now until New Year's, we'll be looking at the truth behind all the rest of the holidays, including Christmas. We have two services every Sunday, one at 9.30, which is traditional, and we have a choir. Our second service is at 11 o'clock. We also have a children's program during that time and youth group during that time. We also have youth group that meets on Wednesdays right here in your neighborhood. You can send your kids over to the church at 6 p.m. You can send them on bike, foot, skateboard. We'll even feed them dinner and we'll send them home to you in about an hour and a half. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We want to be the church where you live. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.